am alive. So no swearing. Radio. Radio off. No one needs to hear my bad 90s music that I'm playing in the background. Hi. Where are we? Hello, ladies. Why is my page, my computer not refreshing? Oh. I might have to turn the heater on, Louise. It's been a bit chilly. Or I could just toughen up. That would probably work too. Okay. Hello, Karen Campbell. Um, welcome back, guys. Last live Facebook for the day. Um, for the weekend, this would be Facebook number 13, live Facebook number 13, because I did like a bonus one a couple of days ago. But before I start, dun, 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 you guys have taken, hello Susan, oh hey Susan, I have sent you an email babe, can you check your email, it's the link to the item that you were looking for. Um, so the specials have been going fantastic. You guys have been shopping up a storm and we are super grateful for that and we will be um, packing all your orders up tomorrow. But what I wanted to show you, this Geo Mandala Art by Marlene die, uh, we have marked this guy down to $11, okay? Um, bargain. Epic bargain. Normally they are, how much are they normally? 20 bucks? Yeah. 20 bucks normally? Down to 11 bucks. Um, and I just want to show you how it looks on a project because some people have gone, oh no, it's a bit weird, but it's not. Um, Susan, just, I've sent you the link on an email, sweetheart. It's all good. All right, so this is what they look like on some cards that I have made. So I have painted some cardstock with shimmery dilutions paint and then used that die to cut it out and stick them on. Okay, so it's there. It is here. Now I have sold out of this hot air balloon stamp and will not be getting it back in again, so just look past that. Um, but the idea of um, using this in the background and using it on a project is fantastic. So I've used it in there. I've used it in around here as well. So it is a fantastic die to use as a background builder or a loan. It is it's a great little um, great little die. But I just wanted to show you because everyone's kind of gone, stayed away from it. So I'm not quite sure what that, you know, if it's got boy germs or something. And it's got this gorgeous little leaf so that you can make a leafy bundle. Anyway, moving on. So I thought this afternoon that I would, I was, the original plan was to create something amazing with um, the cocoa, new cocoa vanilla paper, but there's not enough of it left to do that. It's a bit sold, it's, it's, it's nearly sold out. Um, it arrived yesterday, so very awesome that it's almost sold out. So clearly you guys love it. So what I wanted to do is something a little bit different. Um, so nataliemay.com.au, for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, welcome, welcome. Uh, don't forget to join the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. Follow me on Instagram. And my blog is Happy Dax. So, alrighty. What I thought I might do is show you something that's in the shop that's really kind of cool and it's these things these are the cutouts by Bella Boulevard and you can't see because of the glare so let me just turn that down sorry about that guys so these are the Bella Boulevard cutouts and what they are is a fantastic cutout that you can add to your project and I'm going to show you today how to use them for those of you who don't have a, a cameo machine or a die cutting machine, this is the ultimate product. So there's a few different designs. This is the one that I'm going to use today called Love You Lots. There is also the Happiness Smile Bundle. And you can see what they do. You can see the different projects that they do. Um, there is also the Beautiful Sweet Girl. 
There is Santa's Little Helpers with some cool little candy canes and some pictures there. So they are lovely for those of you who love to do a Christmas project. And there is also the cat, the kitty one, Love Live Love Meow, which is kind of cute too. And it's got these gorgeous little flowers. Um, love You to the Moon and Back, Love You to the Moon, which is a great one for boys' pages. And finally, I think the last one, oh, no, we've got the Family Friends, This Is Us, and also the Rainbow one. So these are great because how they work is you just have to cut your paper and stick behind it. Like really, really easy. Let me pull them out of the packet. So this one has got the love hearts plus the words just like that. Super duper simple. Um, it also has some really easy instructions on how to cut them out and add them to your projects. This is an excellent way to use up some pattern paper that you have got floating around. I have got pattern paper coming out of my ears um, and the instruction sheet here is super simple. So I cut out this the letters that I want um, and you can, you can make them any colors that you like. So I'm gonna do the word love in a green paper so i have just pulled some uh some scrap paper out of my my scrap paper box it is the leftovers of a six by eight pad um, with some lovely bright colored papers and you could use absolutely anything so all i'm going to do is take this bit of paper that's the color that i want to use and I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to cut it out. Just balancing my letter on here and then I'm just holding it firmly and cutting out that letter. So this is a, a really quick way to create a scrapbook layout. Um, if you have a die cut machine, like a machine that does these for you, then of course there are lots of um, cut files that you can purchase to do this. I, I've got a, a Cameo machine. The Cameo is my favourite my favorite die cutting machine. Um, there's like I said, lots on the market. And I'm gonna be sneaky here and I'm gonna line that up with the edge, the, the E, line it up with the edge there. And I moved that, didn't I? Hang on. And I'm gonna go snip without slicing through my finger. Snip, snip snip and then go up here and I have got room for movement meaning I have got if I if they're not absolutely perfect I can cut them out so the instructions do say on here how to do it using the templates provided Cut the pattern papers to go behind the cutouts. Note that there are only two sizes of the hearts, which is what I'm working with here, uh, large and small. Loosely cut the pattern paper roughly around the template on the sheet and position where you want to cut. So there's my E. Where's my other one? Y. Cut the template pattern at the same time. And then we're going to adhere it down in a moment. So this is a really, really easy way to um, to back these. So um, Bella Boulevard bring out these cuts in a few different designs and a lot of you have already found them over the last few months that I've had them in stock and have snaffled them up, but they are super effective. So I'm going to create a layout 
using this technique just to show you how fun and easy it is and how quick it can be to do this without having to get out your machine, number one, or without having to um, purchase a, a big die cutting machine. So I do love my die cutting machine. I have one and to be perfectly honest, my husband uses it more than I do, but that's okay. Um, and I totally did the why, and I should have done it in a different color because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the V and the E. Oh, I was supposed to do the L in the green, not paying attention. I'm gonna do that one. Hello, Sandy. How are you, my lovely, lovely friend from the southeast of South Australia? How are you? Oh, I've just remembered. Hey, we get to see Fiona tomorrow. Oh, yeah, right. Fiona's going to be here tomorrow. Almost forgot. It has been such a full-on weekend that my lovely Fiona Poultridge and her beautiful husband are popping in. I must um, send her a message to this evening to say drive safe. L O V. Now I pre-cut out a couple of hearts, so I'm going to stick that one there, and I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me a moment. No, I'm not. Talk myself out of it. Uh, let's push all of these scraps off to the side while I find some other letters. L O V. So I need to get that Y back again. Oh, so I need to use. There's the Y. Found it. Stop looking. Let's have another look and see what other paper I can find. Pop a bit of orange. No. Green. And I want to do the Y and the U next. Um, so let's see what we can find here. I've got the U on my template piece. So I love that the templates are included in the, in the kit. So then you don't have to try and work out how to do it yourself. Having some fantastic and easy to follow instructions does make it super easy as well. Because you, this shouldn't need to be difficult. Any instructions, if you buy a kit or anything like that, hopefully you'll find the instructions super easy to follow um, or at least you've got some really good pictures that you can um, view and replicate because that also helps. So thank you to all of you who have purchased my kits over the weekend. I had quite a few that we marked down um, on clearance because I had some excess ones in stock and that I wanted to treat you. Um, so they are, they were available. And hopefully you will all enjoy creating with those kits and making something pretty. I don't need that V again, but I've done it again. I've lost the Y. Okay. I've lost the Y, but I'm going to use the Y that I cut out here as a loose template and then these are all going to get stuck behind the cutouts okay just like that so yes, the intention was there to do a, a big fancy scrapbook layout this afternoon using cocoa vanilla, but um, just not enough hours in the day today. My poor family and Louise's family have not seen uh, us this weekend. Um, you know, you know how it goes. And I'm going to do some pink words across the bottom. So I'm going to use that L. And 
and I'm going to cut that one down. So just, just watch me cut paper for a minute, guys. You've got to love that. And we're going to create a, whoops, quick scrapbook page, L-O-T. So the T is on this page and so is the S. That one. I do find it easier to work on a smaller piece of paper and a bit of a tip when I am cutting. Uh -huh. um, so we're just going to go around there. That's probably a little bit close, but you know what? We're going to make it work. Uh, Gail Ange just commented saying thank you very much for all of our hard work over the weekend, Louise, um, and that um, we can rest tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no. I'm going to post up a photograph in a minute of our new super studio that we thought was going to be big enough. We've had such a lovely weekend and it's looking a little overcrowded at the moment. And we've got you to thank you for that. So um, it's yes, it's a little bit of a crowded space at the moment with all the bags of orders. So it's kind of cool. I might do a little Instagram story, a little Instagram story walk around of our hot mess here um, in, the, in the studio. So. And it's a hot mess that we absolutely love, which is which is the best thing. Let's be honest. I'm not a a perfect person by any means in, when it comes to um, like space and cleaning space and all that sort of stuff. I do uh, embrace a little bit of mess um, to a certain extent. Clearly, to a certain extent. All right. So I've cut those elements out. What I need to do now is stick them all down. So the way that I'm going to do that, what's that bonus bit there? Let's get rid of that. Is I'm going to use a glue pen and stick them on. So let's just check first how bad my cutting is and if it's going to sit behind them okay. Yes, it is. So I've got a glue pen here. I had a glue pen. Here we go. We've got. A, <laughs> I found it. Um, uh, the glue pen that I have got is the uh, that we sell online is the Nuvo Smooth Precision Pen. I do love a glue pen for this purpose because it is lovely and fine, and they tend to dry pretty quickly. Um, I'm using an Ulta New one. I am going to get these in stock again. I haven't got any at the moment, but they will be coming in soon. But a nice fine tip glue pen is something that you will, um, that you certainly can, you know, having in your stash. That's for my eyes, guys, not yours. Um, <laughs> but just drawing around these lines and then sticking my paper straight on. Yes, you can use a fine tip like magic glue or something like that that will work equally as well. Oh, apparently my cutting could have been better, but let's just go with it, shall we? Um, do I do the rainbow? Oh, that one fits better. <sighs> Drawing that on there like that. And just... For filming ease, I'm just going to do it in a few different spots. Close enough. Is good enough. Gaylene, it's very exhausting buying all the stuff. Oh, sweetie. It is. 
<laughs> it's a little exhausting on this end too, but me being here today means that I'm not sitting at home in my half painted house <laughs> because, you know, that's fun. And, you know, the washing machine hooked up outside because we can't hook it up inside. Um, here's a T. Where does that go? Down here. While well, I'm just going to find a random letter and stick it on. Um, and yes, so this week is all putting furniture back on inside again after painting this week. And um, oh, there we go. That needs a little trim. Hey, did everyone notice that I got a top up of some awesome scissors this week as well? I got some really super tiny little embroidery scissors in. And for those of you who love to do fussy cutting, Carrie Ann, that's you, because we know how much I dislike it. Um, there's some new little fussy cutting scissors in that you will hopefully love. Um, they were recommended to me by my supplier as being great for paper crafters. And they are the little tiny baby ones, or you could go with the, um, the Fiskars ones. The Fiskars ones are back in stock. Alright, so I'm just going to stick all of these on the back nice and quick, turn it over, and we'll do the big reveal in a minute. Oh, there's a few of you watching. Welcome back, everybody. Last live Facebook of the day. I have been creating up a style bugger this storm this weekend. <laughs> Sorry. Get a snag. Get a little snag there. There we go. It's stuck to my finger. There we go. Got to do the Y. We have created cards this weekend. We have created art journal pages. We've created scrapbook pages. We have made all of the things this weekend. We have made it all happen and um, loved every second, FYI. Um, I'm just going to give myself a little bit. I was a bit stingy on the glue apparently in a few spots. Right. That's because the lighting won't allow me to... Oh, don't tell me it's stuck to the background because that would really... Oh, no, here we go. That would really make my day. So these little kits are fabulous. Um, like I said, you could put any sort of paper behind this. I'm just using scraps from a paper pad that I had from left over from another project, but completely up to you what what you use. Like I said, you could you could easily just you know make your own pattern papers and put behind it using magicals or some stencil paper or some gel press paper or you could be a bit arty and do that. my V, 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 and I know that I'm going to need to do a little bit of trimming on this in a moment, and my last letter is going to be the L, and then I'll stick it on. Oh, oh you right there, Lou? All good, people. Having a stack in the shop? What's going on? All right. Now, I've got a bit of a gap here that I'm very aware of. So what I'm going to do is just... Actually, no, I can't do that because I've got a pattern behind it, don't I? Hey, hey, check it out. Hey, not bad. So now the bits here, apparently I was a bit stingy with the glue in on my U. So I'm going to pop some more on. Right there. Stick, stick, stick. 
and let's pull it out and put it on some white cardstock and have a bit of a look. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, how good's that? Okay, so I've got to do a little bit of trimming in a couple of spots, um, but that's okay. Like my Y up here, I've got a little bit of overpaper. My T here, I've got a little bit of overpaper. But that is just super easy and didn't take me very long to do either. Um, and that's that's important. You want something that's going to be quick and easy. Um, scrapbooking is fun. And it is quite therapeutic, but you don't want to be shuffling papers around on your desk for a week. <laughs> Nobody wants that. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly just going to trim this off. And I've got some bits up here that kind of got a bit of overhang. A bit of overhang up here on my Y. Y, oh, Y. There we go. And that is going to go there. Now, I at this point, I could add... I've got the hearts as well but I'm not going to put those on this page. I'm going to add that to another project. Um, the other elements that I can add on here, I've got, oh, I've got some bits and pieces in my paper, but I'm going to keep it super simple. Um, I'm going to trim off my barcode. And then I'm going to add a bit of a splatter to the background. Cut a photo mat. And, and stick it on. Um, photo. So let's get my little pretend photograph here. That's a good size. So I quite often, when I have um, scrapbooking photos, oh, it would look great on black too. Ooh, yeah, it would. Or craft. Um, okay, I'm not going to do it on that. Um, when I have photos that I print off, I always trim them down. So the average size photograph I use is, is um, this size, which is about 4x4. Four four. A little bit, little bit more than 4x4. Four four. I'm going to cut a, a piece of cardboard. Pop some double-sided tape on it. Uh, I just do this instead of using foam tape and it gives me a really good foundation for the um, for the photo to sit on and it's not going to be a bendy photo. So quite often when you, when you use foam tape, it sinks in the middle. Um, I'm going to use my Alpha Craft knife. This is my little tip for peeling up the back. You'll find these knives in the tools section on nataliemay.com.au. Peel that off, pop that on, ready to go onto my layout. But before I do that, I want to add some of these colours in a bit of a splatter on my page. How am I going to do that? I know. Yesterday, I used we used Lindy's Gang Magicals on a project. We used the magicals and we activated them in the water. Well, overnight, the palette has dried. Uh, a couple of reasons the palette dried overnight. I left the heater on. Um, <laughs> but I can reactivate these. So I'm going to grab that teal there. I think that that one was a green. I've got some pink in here. There's a little orange. I don't want red. There's purple. And I can reactivate these. So I've just popped a little bit of water in there with the pipette. And now I'm going to give them a stir. And, and reactivate them again. So because they've sat in this palette. Oh, there's that pink that I was looking for. Because they've sat in the palette, they will, um, they will reactivate. Okay. That was a good little idea on the run, wasn't it? And I think I want some yellow. Which is now a muddy yellow because I didn't rinse my brush properly. You know, some days, Natalie, some days. Oh. 
All right. So what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of splatter to my page. So I'm going to pop that aside and I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to start with the orange. And what I'm going to do is it's like a smoker's tap. So it's just a really fine sprinkle and it's a finger tap rather than a, a flick. I don't want to flick it. And now I'm going to add a bit of that green. And I'm only going to do a couple of colours. I'm not going to mix it up too much. It doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be too much. And you can see I'm giving it a little direction. It's going to sit in the back of our project. Um, green, teal, a little bit of this um, colour that I made up here, which is kind of like a purple. There's not much purple in my paper, but enough to stand out. I want more green than anything else for that top, that pop of green. Okay. And now I need to put that somewhere where I'm not going to knock it over. Before I do anything else, I'm going to just quickly give that a quick dry off. And little splatters can be really, really effective. You don't have to go, that was, you know, you could do that with watercolours. That would work well. As long as you've got a, a, little, um, a little bit of liquid to be able to give it a splatter. And knowing when to stop is really important as well. Okay, you won't want to do... You won't want to go over the top with it. It would have been nice with yellow if I didn't contaminate that. All right, so I'm going to pop some foam tape on the back of this because I want it to pick up and lift up a little higher. Um... I love it when I put things away between lives and then I can't find them. Said nobody ever. So the foam tape that I like to use, I like to use the Express It foam tape. Of course, it's, you know, the one that I sell, the one I've got in the shop. Um, I like to use it because, again, another good Australian company. And if I can support local, I most certainly will. It's um, a product that is Australian and... Um, I, I definitely think at the moment getting something out of Australia is awfully uh, a lot easier than trying to get it out of not Australia. Um, don't even get me started on, um, on, on products out of China and rip off products out of China. That's a whole conversation that you don't need to have with me, I can tell you right now. Um, but just a nice solid base for my, my foam tape right there, put some there. And the good thing about this particular design is it's got some nice solid lines underneath the, um, the letters as well because they're big fat letters. Peel, peel, peel. Yeah, sorry guys. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I know I am losing it. It's the end of the day. End of the weekend. The fun begins now. <laughs> we turn the music up as of this afternoon and we start packing your orders ready to go to get them out to you as soon as we can. Start living on wine and energy drinks? No, not really. <laughs> Mostly wine. Not so much energy drinks. Um, okay, let's peel those off. Um, I don't like buying foam tape from... Uh, I don't encourage you to buy foam tape from a cheap shop by any means because it has a different adhesive on it. Quite a few people I've seen over the years have come back to me and gone, 
oh, I bought this tape and it keeps coming unstuck and it's not holding. It's like, well, where did you buy it? Oh, from, um, you know, the $2 shop. Well, of course it's not going to bloody stay stuck for two bucks, is it? So buy the, buy the leather handbag, not the vinyl handbag, guys. All right. Loving this. And here is my photo. Now, something about this, if I sit it on here, it's kind of just going to disappear into my background. So I might give it a little pop of colour behind using some offcuts of my paper that I had here, okay? Um, Kerry, and sounds like it's gin o'clock for you now. Yes, I think you're actually quite right there, Kerry Ann. Um, and I do have a um, a sneaky gin in gin and tonic in the in the work fridge, and I'm fairly certain certain. I'm, I'm the drive home these days. That's it. It's the drive home, so I can only have one. That's right. Um, I just have to limit it. It's not walking across the yard. No, I'm not walking through the backyard, and no, not anymore. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I just want to add some of these little elements behind to just to add a pop of colour. So I've got some of this pink, and I do this little trick where I I do um, just give it a little bit of a, a false frame. It's also called lazy photo matting, let's be honest. But it works. It works for me because it's my page, not your page. Sandy, we are really looking forward to getting our Australian-made leather lounge suite. Oh, six months ago. Oh. <laughs> oh, Sandy. Yeah, I know. That's the sucky bit, hey? Um, well, I guess it's a, there's a slight comfort in knowing that uh, you're not the only one that's going to have that issue, Sandy. There are numerous people in a similar position that are all still waiting for supplies and bits and pieces that they ordered a really long time ago. It's certainly not just you. Um, I know that's absolutely no comfort because it sucks epically. But sometimes you just have to look at the brighter side rather than, you know, look at the flip side and go, it's going to be great when it gets here. Um, going to pop a little bit of that that teal up here for balance and even though that paper's not cut straight which works for me because it's my scrapbook layout I'm going to stick that there got all these other little off cutty bits here just going to pop some glue on that um, perfection is overrated but Balance works. Doesn't have to be a whole piece of paper. It can just be a slither. Where do I find Love You Lots? Okay, so if you jump online and do a search for... I don't know, what are they called? Cutouts. Bella Boulevard Cutouts. Um, Louise will go and do a search and give you the exact thing to search so that you can find them online. And there's lots of other different designs as well for you to utilise. Um, I need a little bit more of this teal. Hang on a minute. I'm going to use my Y that I didn't use before and I'm going to use that. Why? Why? Because I can. And it was going to be here, wasn't it? I just want to pop a little bit under there. So um, when I put a photo of this up online, I will link the comments, uh, link the products. I always do, just so that you can easily find the products that I used in the page, okay? So I make sure that you can find them easily and... Um, and add them to your cart if you need to rather than have to do that. So I will link, do a direct link um, in a moment to the products that I'm using. Type um, cutouts in search bar. Yep, so if you type in the search bar cutouts, you will find it, okay? All of them. All of them will be there for you. 
just like Gaylene has said as well, which is good. Oh, you're, you're on it, Gaylene. You're a machine. So this is also a good way of upcycling your cardboard, your cardboard boxes. Some of you lovely ladies will receive your orders in a box. And you can upcycle, cut it up into little pieces and use it to match your photos on your pages. All right. So that is going about here. Is it straight? I can't tell. Oh, stand up and look over the top of it. Close enough. Close enough. Okay. I should see the mess I've got here. All right. And I'm going to leave it alone because if I continue to fiddle around with it, it'll end up being a bit of a mess. One thing that it does need, we've got a little bit of black in here. So it does need a bit of a black outline. Um, Lou, you're more than welcome to turn that heater off any time you like now, Dale. Oh, you're hot now. Oh, I'm sweating. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do a, a black doodle line all the way around. Please insert funny doodle joke. Dun, 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 dun. And this is going to make my layout mine because I love me a good doodle line. So what I'll do in a moment, ladies, is I will jump online and I'll post a photo of this with a link to the items. I've just used the plain Kaisercraft cardstock in the background. I have used scrap pattern paper from some a random 6x8 pad. Um, Kerry, we're not talking about where to put the doodle doll, but, but inserting doodle joke. Tick. Um, so here we go. I love this. I'm really, really pleased with this layout. Uh, I hope you have all... No. Um, that's annoying, isn't it? And now it's gone. Um, I hope you have all found that that's an easy project to create. Um, the, the, the cutout, of course, is something that you can you know, use on your projects and create with to create such a, um, just a really easy scrapbook page. The splattering in the background, like I said, just kind of added a bit of, bit of love. There's so many other elements I could add to this. The cutout pack here, I can do another layout using these die cuts that also came with it. I mean, that would look great on that or even the stripes. So lots and lots of things that you can do with these die cuts. Um, so wonderful work, ladies. Thank you so very much for joining me. Uh, 13 live Facebooks in three days. I'm a bit sick of myself as well. Um, jump online to nataliemay.com.au and you will find um, the thing, the item's still on special until the end of the day. We will be packaging up and posting your orders over the next 24, 48 hours and we will get them out to you as soon as possible. The local ladies, we will be getting in touch as to collecting your, your projects. So um, thank you very much. Please stay safe in lockdown uh, and, and create. create, make use of your time. Um, love you guys too. Thank you, Michelle. And I look forward to catching you all soon. And um, wash your hands, kiss your kids, do the things. Bye, guys.